Hey everybody, welcome back to Alpha Infinity Tech. 317.2 has brought with it a little bit of drama on the wallet side of things, and we'll save that for another video. But in the meantime, we've been out doing Nine Tails missions with friends, having a ton of fun, and we've also been doing lots of mining live streams. And during those mining live streams, questions have come up about how to get started, where to go, how to use the Aaron Halo to mining routes map, and we're going to talk about all that today in a new possible hotspot out in the mining universe. Let's roll that intro. All right, let's go ahead and get started. As always, if you like our videos, please hit that like, subscribe, and smash that bell, and don't forget to comment below. Also, once we reach 1,500 subscribers, we are going to give away a prospector with LTI to one of our lucky subscribers. And if you wanna know how we're getting great frame rates in Star Citizen, links to our system stats are in the description of every video. Check them out. No matter what discipline you choose in Star Citizen, it's important to choose the right tool for the job. And in this case, it's the Prospector for beginning miners. And I have a video on how to outfit that Prospector, which I will link in the top right hand corner. When you start out in mining, it's important to figure out where you want to base your mining operations. And you may be tempted to put yourself at a refinery where you get the largest yield modifier on Quantanium. But notice the Hurl 1, it's negative 6. Crew L1, on the other hand, gives you a 3% yield modifier, and you may say to yourself, well, that's where I want to be. I would actually suggest that you start out at Arc L1 Wide Forest Station, which doesn't give you a yield modifier at all, because it has the shortest routes out to the Aaron Halo and back, and its proximity to Area 18 and the Trade and Development Center is very close. So you can get out, get your Quantanium, refine it, and deliver it very quickly. Now, how do you find the Quantanium? And that's what we're gonna talk about next. The Air and Halo has different density, and you wanna make sure that you end up in the dense part of the belt, which in this case is band five. Now, I'm not saying that you can't find Quantanium in other bands, but band five gives you the best shot at finding those Q-type asteroids. And how do you get to band five? In this particular case, it's gonna be 14,292,000 kilometers that you're gonna drop out of Quantum if you're going from Arc L1 to Crew L4. And that's why these Air and Halo mining maps are so useful because you get a really good idea on what your round trips are gonna look like. So for example, on the Arc L1 refinery route, if you're doing the Crew L4 to Arc L1, it's 9 million kilometers back to the refinery. If you're going to Crusader, it's only 6.4. Crew L5 is only 5.7. Hurston, 6.8. And Crew L3, 10 million kilometers. Then that's for the Arc L1 routes. Now, when you look at Crew L1, remember that pitfall we talked about? Band 5 is at 6.7, and that's the shortest. But look at the Microtech route. 31 million kilometers back to your refinery. Arc Corp, same, and 13 from Arc L5. And unless you've upgraded your Prospector Quantum Drive, you have a much higher chance of blowing up and getting really far into your stability timer on your Quantanium. And the same is true with some of these other refineries. So once again, we would highly recommend that you choose Arc L1 as a beginning refinery. And once you've upgraded your Prospector, you have a faster quantum drive. Check out some of these other refineries. Now, as promised at the beginning of the video, we're going to talk about a new possible Quantanium spot. It's going to be Crew L2B. This spot has been coming up in the forums, on Discord, and even some content creators have suggested that miners go out there and hunt for Quantanium. Now, to be honest with you, I've spent a little bit of time out here and have not had a high success rate with high composition rocks, but they can be found. And if you're looking to mine in the new part of the universe, this is not a terrible spot to be. Check it out and let me know what you think in the comments below. We hope you like this video and we hope you join us on our live streams. We will see you again soon.